Dr. Daniel Thomas has found a way to treat his life by incorporating a healthy dose of travel. He joins us to share how he balances his career with his adventures. Welcome to Smile, Dr. Thank Thomas. You. How are you? I'm great. Thank you, Gary. Best wishes for the new year. Same to you. First question. You're a doctor, which means you need to have a practice. How do you travel as much as you do and still maintain a practice and earn? Okay, well, <clears throat> I, should, I should point out, first of all, that I'm actually a, well, I'm a medical doctor by profession, right. but I've been working in the research field for the greater part of the last um, six years. Mm -hmm. And uh, so how I travel, most of all, is through the ability to go to like, workshops and conferences abroad. And then when I go abroad, I try to intersperse that time with seeing where I am. Mm. So, like, say, for example, I'll, I've been to conferences in, in Scotland, in, in Japan, in, in France. And then while I'm there, I'll try and explore, explore, like, you know, plan out an itinerary. Mm -hmm. And in my time off, I'll go and see, I'll see, I'll see different places. Right. <laughs> so I've got to ask a very cheeky question. Do you search for conferences in places that you've never been. So you're like, all right, I've never <laughs> been to Madagascar. So I wonder if they can I did, get I did, me. I did that for Japan. <laughs> well, actually, no. One of my professors actually suggested that I go. Right. And she said, you know, while you're there, you, can, you know, you love to travel. You can right. go and see the place. Right. So I have her to thank for that. Good. Um, but yeah, I do. Actually, once I'm going to somewhere, I actually try and look around and see what's there to do. Mm -hmm. And I try to make my own little travel itinerary while I'm there to... To make sure the trip is not just about um, work. Yeah. Is it expensive? Because do you blow your, your, your per diem? Um, well, I try to be economical. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I find ways to save while there. Because, you know, you don't always have to splurge when you're abroad. Um, you, sometimes you just want to see something new. You want to travel. Right. Um, but you don't have to go, go large, per right. se. Yeah. Right. You mentioned Scotland. You, mean, you mentioned Japan. Yeah. I'm sure there are lots of other places. Uh, but what's the most memorable? I mean... It, you don't necessarily have to pick one, maybe two. Okay, so I went to Egypt in December of 2019. That was actually not related to work. <laughs> um, I went there with my sister, and we did a 10-day um, group travel excursion. Yeah. So, you know, we saw the pyramids, we saw the Sphinx, um, yeah. crews on the Nile, and that was, that was epic. <laughs> would you return? I would. Um, maybe not yet, but definitely somewhere I'd want to go back to. Um, also, you know, scuba dived in the, in the Red Sea. <laughs> yeah. and things because like that. it's pretty dense, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. so oh, oh, describe no, that. No, 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 that's, that's, that's the... No, no, the Red Sea's not that dense. Is that another one you're thinking? Where it floats? Yeah. No, man, that's okay. not the Red Sea. Yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I mean, but we all know about the Red Sea. Yeah, you know, like, oh, there they... is a light cross in it. Right, right. <laughs> is, is, there's a, is there like a sign, you know, Moses uh, crossed there? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> not where I was. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, okay, so there's Egypt. Uh, anywhere else that, you know, kind of really stands out? Um... Well, in France, you know, the Eiffel Tower, mm -hmm. you know, iconic. I, right. Um, I've been, well, my recent trip to Tokyo, it's, it's, the city is just so large and so huge and so bright. Right. Um, so, um, I've been to, I mean, Guatemala, to the, the volcanoes there. Right. Um, that was actually a very interesting trip because I was there for a conference. And then I went early. <laughs> so I had like two days to myself to just explore the country. Mm -hmm. And, you know, traveling in, in the bus in like... Almost like a, like a regular um, local um, and meeting with people there and, and seeing the, country, seeing the countryside. Right. Yeah. So it was a nice, different experience. I'm sure. Uh, at, at the top of the, the interview, I mentioned you know, the fact that you, know, you are a medical doctor. You, you went further to say you're more focused on research. Correct. How do you, that work-life balance, I mean, how does that go? Okay, so <laughs> you know, it's interesting. For the past two years, I haven't traveled until December last year. And it was almost like... It was almost like pain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> kind of itching for, like itching itching for, for, some, for an adventure, itching to go somewhere. And uh, um, so, so I, it's been a while since I traveled. It felt like it has been a long while. Maybe for other people, it might not seem that long. Yeah. Um, but you always try, even if you don't travel abroad, though, you can always try to find somewhere locally to travel. So, um, shameless plug, my, my family is involved in, in travel. My aunt, actually, a travel agent. She owns a travel company. And she always plans, she, she local does local excursions, local excursions mm. and they do hotel stays. <clears throat> so um, through her and through that experience, I'm able to actually see things around the country locally. And, you know, sometimes hop out to the North Coast or hop out to 
to the east or the west yeah. and get some downtime. How important, though, is it for us to, <clears throat> oh. you know, not necessarily live like you do? No, because no. I, I think that's just a dream, really. Yeah. <laughs> but how important is it for us to... As take in, a break? Yeah, take a break and I mean, see some places and do something different and I, balance out that I stress so related important. to work. Um, I mean, if, 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 you, if you're a faith-based person and you, and you see the scripture, it says, you know, on the seventh day, he rested. God right. rested, right? Rested from his work, took, a, took his Sabbath break. Um, and whatever your, your faith or belief is, it doesn't really matter. It's just showing that principle that you need to take some time to de-stress, some time to, to get away from, from the hustle and the bustle. Mm -hmm. And, you know, take time for yourself, take time to rest, recoup, right. um, take a nice breath in, take a breath out, and then you hit the road again. I know people are looking at their screens right now and they're probably going like, yo, it must reach. Like, you must have money for money because travel is not cheap. Travel is not cheap. I, I, I know that work funds some of it, but yeah. for the bits that you do on your own, yeah. like how, you know, how does that go? It's all about, well, it depends on what your budget is. It's about budgeting and planning <laughs> and, you know, deciding if you want to travel or if you want to do something else. Because I know some people who said they don't have any money, but you said them at every party. My budget is, fi <laughs> my budget is 500 US dollars. My plane ticket just done a while ago. Well, then you can't travel too often, but you can make a nice significant trip right. once a year, every two years. Mm -hmm. If you know you, you put that money in a, in a savings account or in a, an account that you, you accumulate over time. Right. And you say, okay, every two years I want to take a trip somewhere. Mm -hmm. um, and you don't spend the money, you put it down. <laughs> um, I think it's about planning and knowing ahead of time where you want to go and making steps to know that, okay, I want to see this place. Um, I know I can't save this amount. Right. Each I, 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 usually, I usually bring back things, um, little mementos yes, and so souvenirs, on. Yeah. Souvenirs and so on. You have a whole collection, I'm assuming? Uh, like we do, I do the, you know, the, the fridge magnets, the fridge, right. and mm -hmm. then you try to get these, you know, little trinkets for people especially. <clears throat> when I travel, my, my work has this little, um, what would you say? I think that we do. <clears throat> whenever we go, whenever anybody goes somewhere from the office, they always try to bring something back for everybody in the office. Right. If it's a sweet or if it's like a little small gift. Right. Um, so I've, I've, I've adopted that as well. You know, you go, you try and bring something back that for you as well, but also to share with others. Are you going to blog about your travels? I need to start. I need to start. I've been told I need to start doing it. My friends here and abroad keep saying, why not do it? So I think for the new year, that's something I'm going to look into. Going to join your aunt's business as well? Well, I actually already start doing stuff with her, mm -hmm. you know, um, it's a family thing, right. um, but I love travel and I love sharing about travel. So yeah, I think it's something that I need to work on for this year as well. Yeah, I love travel too. So uh, we'll talk more off air. Oh, yeah, great, great. <laughs> <laughs> That's medical doctor Daniel Thomas who loves to travel. Uh, we've got uh, to go for a short break, but we'll be back with the fun stuff in a few. So stay with Renault.